Hello and welcome back. I hang out on the YouTube Factorio um, group. There's a um, fans group that's separate from the Ubisoft group and um, various people post questions there asking how to do stuff and what to do and it's generally quite a nice supportive um, community that gives feedback. Every now and again I rashly say I will make a video about that and then usually there's something that comes up that means that I, I don't. So I thought I might actually try to consistently make tutorial videos. And this is my first one. Um, so this is part one of an introduction to robots. Sorry, it's been a long day. I'm taking my shoes off. There we go. All right. So this series is mostly going to be happening within the creative world. You can see this icon up here. This is the creative mode menu. I'm not going to go into how that works today. Uh, today it's all about the bots. So you'll see me use some magical items which do things that aren't in your base game. Um, just take it on faith that I'm cheating in ways to make the material more accessible uh, rather than cheating with things where um, you need to know. All right. So today we're going to talk about robots. Using the cheats, I have unlocked the tech tree to get us to robots. It's not that far down in the grand scheme of things. There's all this stuff below. Um, right. So to get robots, you need steel, green potions. You need automation, electronics, engines, automation two, fluids, oil processing. Then you're going to need the oil processing to make electric motors and batteries. Okay, so once you've unlocked those, you get robotics. And given electro robotics, you can unlock construction bots and logistics bots. So that's where we're up to. I haven't unlocked those yet, but I will unlock them now. We'll add this and we will add this to our research queue and because I'm in creative mode and I've clicked the appropriate boxes that will get researched immediately. There we go. And I'm just going to go into research and out again to get rid of the flashing up here because that really annoys me. So we have now unlocked certain items. We've got oil pumps and things like that and I'll do a tutorial on oil some other time. And then in here we have roboports construction robots and logistics robots. We also have two new types of boxes, the passive providers, which are red, and the storage chests, which are yellow. So these are the robot things. Um, so let's start off at the beginning. We wish to make some robots. Okay, so we are going to pretend that we have smelters and other such things. Um, probably the best way to do this is so I'm going to cheat a bit and we are going to make, okay, let's have some underground, some splitters. I'm just going to put these down here because otherwise I'll have to pop open my inventory all the time and that gets quite annoying quite quickly. All right, we're going to need assembly machines. We're going to need these magical loader items and these magical duplicating chests. Um, we'll need some arms. All right. We'll just get these ones. Ah, so I can't count. Let's try that again. Those, those those. That will do, I think, for now. Oh, we'll need some power poles. Good. Wooden poles. And let's get going. Okay, so let's imagine that we wish to make a construction robot. So to make a construction robot, we need a robot frame and we need a green circuit. 
And let's imagine we wanted to make a logistics bot. That is a robot frame and a red circuit. Okay. So, um, let's start off with some power. And I'm just going to run this out of the way. And we're going to use a creative mode passive energy source. This just gives us electricity as if we had energy production. Okay, so these are powered up. So these are going to need to take in Okay. And actually we can do this better. There's this matter source here. Okay, so let's put that. We'll add one of these there. Okay, so the matter source, we can set up what's produced in the left and right lane. So we're going to imagine that we had green circuits in one lane and red circuits in another. Okay, so these will come down to here. And in a minute, these will start picking that up, putting them in. Okay, and they will get stuck because they need robot frames. There we are. No robot frames. So the next job would be for us to make some robot frames and bring them back here. Let's do that. So we want to put some robot frames onto this. Now, these recipes are really quick. They're half a second and it's the same for logistics bots. So let's have a look here. So Intermediate products, there's flying robot frame. This requires green circuits, but also a lot of other things, steel, batteries, and electric engines. And it takes 20 seconds to make them. So we probably want more than one machine. If you hold down the shift key and you right click, then you can left click on another one and it copies the recipe over. So these are going to need green circuits. We already have a belt with circuits, so we'll reuse that belt. There we are. But it also needs some other things. So it needs steel plates and batteries. We could put those here. And again, we'll assume these are coming off a bus. Um, if you're not sure what I mean by a bus, uh, don't worry. It's a whole load of belts which run through the center of your factory that carry um, lots of useful items. Right, what do we need? We needed batteries. Sorry. Batteries, engines, and steel. So I'm going to take steel down this one. Okay. Now, these take 20 seconds to craft. These are produced every half second, every... Yeah, one every 20. So this would produce one robot frame every 10 seconds, which you may be very happy with. Um, me personally, I would get bored at that. So we're gonna duplicate this down a few times. So we've got two, four, six, eight, 10. You can see there's rocks in the way. If I hold down shift, I can place down the blueprint. Okay, so I did it with a blueprint because it makes it easier for me uh, to build the right thing. You'll see other uses of the blueprint later on. So if I pick up this and run across the blueprint, it places the power poles down where they're meant to go. If I pick up a machine now, I can run down here because the only place they can place the machine is between the power poles. Um, so it allows you to build things comparatively quickly. Okay, that's all good. So, what next? Um, these require electric engines. All right. Now there's the possibility that you have electric engines on your bus, in which case you would just bring down a line of them. 
Um, I'm going to assume that you do not for today. I'm going to assume that you need to manufacture engines. Okay, so let's work out how we could make electric engines. And for now, let's take this away. We'll tidy it up in a minute. Okay, so if we wanted to make, and I'll do it over here for now, we can move it in a minute. If we want to make electric engines, we need green circuits, normal engines, and lubricant. Electric engines take 10 seconds to make. Okay, and we have two, four, six, eight, ten of these, which take 20 seconds to make. So we need five of these. To power this we might want so we'll build six because it's a nice even number um, and let's do it this side just because okay so sorry so this needs circuits normal engines and lubricant well we have some circuits here um, so we could pull those across like that. That would be a valid choice. All right. We're going to put a power pole. You may have noticed I'm putting down machines in pairs it's so that we can put a power pole between the pairs. Um, it gives you coverage. Now, if we were using... Ah, we haven't got steel power poles unlocked. We would normally, in the, at this stage in the game, have steel power poles because um, <laughs> they really are the only way to do an efficient steel build. Okay, so now we have them. All right, so let's put these down here. All right. Maybe I'll replace all these just for consistency. All right. So we decided we we're going to do six of these. Right, so this has got its electric circuits, but it hasn't got its engines. So these take 10 seconds to craft. Let's put down an engine machine. This also takes 10 seconds to craft. So what we could do is this. So each electric engine machine has its dedicated, sorry, get rid of that flashing, has a dedicated normal engine machine. That, so this would be a sensible way to build things. Um, let's put that there and that there to stop the flashing. Okay, so now this would have everything it needs except the lubricant, which we can deal with in a minute. Um, so we would just do six like this. Now, the Engines need a couple of other things. They need pipes and gear wheels and steel. All right, so we can bring steel in here and pull the steel in like that. Let's take this up to our notional bus. There we go. And then it can also it needs to pull in pipes and gears. Okay. So let's us let's also do a quick count. One engine needs one gear and two pipes. So we're gonna need one gear machine and two pipe machines if we were to keep things in ratio. However, we're only gonna have six of these machines, so it's overkill already with one machine of each. Okay, so these need to pull in iron. Let's assume the iron comes in here. Of 
Great. So that iron will come down. Okay, and this is the first gotcha. That puts out to the far side of the belt, and that puts out to the far side of the belt. So, that's fine for the gears, but the pipes would get, do you see when this is all backed up with gears, the pipes are gonna get stuck behind the gears and these machines will never be able to find pipes. So what we need to do is move the pipes over, okay? And to do that, you need one extra tile space than I've got, so. Like that. You see it's just going in and around and on. There are other ways to do this, but this is the simplest way to do it. You can, there's tricks you can play with splitters and all sorts. All right, so these are now getting the pipes they need, the steel they need, produces an engine, pushes it over here. Hello, daughter. Tell me something really quickly. Tell me quickly, because I'm recording. It's what I did. Yeah? It's just uh, I got my book back and I, and I put it in the fr I was maybe going to put it in the fridge. Yeah? Don't put your book bag in the fridge. <laughs> okay. Hi, five. There's a camera bit there. Well, because that camera is recording me talking, and I'm teaching people how to play this game. Yeah. Right? I am. Okay? If I go here, look. Yes, but people can still hear you talking. So, give me a hug. All right. Wave goodbye to the good people. Bye. All right, off you go. Good night. Good night. What can you do? Okay, so we've got two of these. We decided we were gonna have six. There we are. Okay, and I think we've done something stupid because um, when these have made their engines, where do they put them to? Um, yeah, so this whole build needs to be shifted over a bit. Uh, so that probably, right, out there is the delete key. That gets rid of all these ghosts. Um, because we would need to bring in lubricant here. Um, so, yeah, I've now boxed myself in. So we would need somewhere to output the um, electric engines. Okay, so one option, would it be an option? I don't think these reach far enough. No, these don't reach far enough. Um, so, the problem with, was trying to share those circuits. Let's give up on that idea. We are going to basically pick, we're going to copy this. Put it down here. Okay. And this time I'm gonna be a bit more sensible. All right. So this time we need an <laughs> output belt. So they will put out to there, this is the electric engine machine. All right. And we'll figure out what to do with the lubricant in a moment. Although I think we can still put it there. All right, so this can still take from here. That. Okay, 
Let's fill this in. Good. Okay. So then we need a green circuit belt for this and we need a steel belt for this. Right, so let's take these up. There we go. All right. Good. Oh, sorry, ears popping. Uh, oh. And I've gone and done that wrong as well, haven't I? All right. See why we do this in creative. Okay, so this is missing green circuits. This is missing steel. So if we had a split line, well, we could either pulling green circuits there and steel there. But then we'd need to use underground belts. Or we can, if we move these two next to each other, it's very hard to do these builds without using some sort of undergrounds. Okay, there to that. And then we have like that. And then this belt here is a split belt of steel and green circuits. Does that work better? Yeah, that works better. Good. So now we can put in our pipes and then we'll need an underground pipe here. And we will fake in the lubricant. There we go. All right. So these are now making, and we would want several of these. Okay, so we'll do that many for now. Trim these back. That's it. Great, so there we are. Um, so there, these are going on here currently. I want to feed them into this, so I'm going to do something a little bit silly. Okay. And how could I do this? Yeah, let's do the crazy thing. All right. That's it, they're going in. And we will put the product out onto a belt. Take those back up. 
Or maybe it makes more sense to take those down. There we go. So we are going to move these two machines from here to here. All right. All right, so these now get their frames. And these are not building because they need steel, okay, which comes from here. So are these making? I'll believe it when I see it. They take forever. And there you are. Brilliant. Okay, so these are now gonna make some robot frames. We are going to put those out. And there it is on the floor. So we've done it. Um, so this is a very simple robot frame build. Um, assumes you have a bus with useful items lying around. And in the next tutorial, we will do something with the robots other than dump them on the floor. Um, until then, thanks for watching. And there'll be another tutorial soon. Bye-bye.